Hello friends, Marcy here. So it is ink flight time again for the month of July 2023. And it looks like we finally have a journal, um, which is gorgeous. There's a picture of the Golden Gate Bridge. And this is a gorgeous, beautiful sticker. Uh, when I saw the colors, I was trying to line up my inks in, in that uh, assortment an order, but it didn't work. I tried <laughs> just to be orderly. Anyway, so I was just looking at this um, information about the notebook and it is uh, 160 pages, uh, 84.3 GSM paper. Um, it says it can handle wet nibs and bold inks. So um, something that's interesting though, it does say that the um, the themed artwork is national parks and on the inside you can enjoy a printed map with information about each park um, found on the inside cover of each notebook. Now, uh, they're not all the same. Okay, it says I've received one of six different covers that will illust illustrate various scenic United States national parks. So... Um, we have Golden Gate, and there's some information there about it. Um, if you'd like to pause and read all the details, I'll zoom out so you can see the map on the page. And it says the cover illustration was done by David Hayes. Nice work, David. There you go. Um, and it also says it's a lay flat notebook. So, yep, we just open it up toward the middle. And it lays flat nicely. Um, not only does it have a, oh, I see the threaded, uh, the threads for signatures. Not only does it have a square grid, it has some dots, um, dot grids that are horizontal, two rows between the solid line and then vertical as well. A uh, place on the corner, you can do your measurements with markings here and date. So it is a cream color paper. Um, after we do some ink swatching, we can put some inks down or do some writing sample. Actually, I'll just ink swatch right here on this page instead of my other ink swatch book that I had ready. Well, I'll probably do this one too, simply because it's on a white paper. Yellow paper, white paper. Yeah, there we go. We'll do both. Um, you like how I changed my mind in the middle of a video? <laughs> So let's look at the first um, ink. Okay. Dominant Industry Evening says it's a pale violet with shading that evokes a sky of majestic clouds lit by the setting sun. So let's look at Dominant Industry Evening. And I'm going to put it on this side because I like to have the colors more on um, the right margin so I can do p some page flipping. It is a very pale violet but gorgeous color. Um, I like it. I do see some shading as starting to outline uh, different um, blue hues here on this one. Not so much here. Let me get just a drop of saturation on it on each one. It is very wet. And we have evening. Oh yeah, I like that little uh, shading going on there. So, hey, just some little Dots and squiggles. Um, again, I'm seeing the shade. Now I'm seeing the shading here on this Tamoy River paper. I don't know the maker of the paper of this notebook though. Um, the weight, the GSM weight was explained. And it's evening. I actually like it better 
the color of it. I actually like the color better on the white paper than on the cream paper. Alrighty. Okay, and next we're going to move into Dominant Industry Winter Pine. All of these are very pale, transparent inks. They remind me kind of the quality of the Fairswell Press inks that I get. Um, I'm not familiar with uh, using Dominant Industry inks. I don't have any full bottles. I have several full bottles of inks, but not this one. Only um, a few samples shared from others. And I can tell you the colors of those right now. Um, actually, I'm not going to write Dominant Industry on each one because they are all from the same uh, company, um, Ink Maker. I'm just going to write the color. Winter Pine. And we'll do um, Dominant Industry at the top. So, there we go. And again on the white paper, Tamoy River. Checking to see if y'all are in frame. I wasn't really planning on doing two books, but I have an extra book here, so why not? All right, I think I'm gonna go ahead and label the top and I'm gonna pull out my trusty new um, Retro 51 roller ball and label the top um, Ink Flight. Well, I'm debating on whether to write Ink Journal. Ink Flight, July of 2023. And everything is dominant industry. Alright, and then I'll try to do the same on this page, but I didn't leave myself much of a margin, so I may put one heading of the, I may have a header and a footer on this page, depending on how it works out after we get our seven colors down. Alright, I'm loving this shading here. I actually see a lot of yellow, but that may just be some um, color showing through from the cream paper. Not really seeing yellow here. It looks more like a, a pink uh, shading coming through under the under there. All right, and next we're gonna look for November leaves. All right, I'm just going in order down the menu that was included with the order. And here's Remy wanting to know who I'm talking to in here. She didn't know we had visitors. I like this. Every time I put down a new ink, my mind starts like figuring what ink do you have already that's similar to this, you know, and I'm thinking the Robert Oster um, coffee date, maybe. A little bit of darkness there for pooling. And I always try to coordinate or correlate my new inks to something I already own. I don't know. Looking for some similarities. All right, so we're writing um, November leaves. I do like this color. And I'm glad that I'm actually having the opportunity to um, experiment on the cream and the white paper. So, oops, just try to give a little doodle with some ink here and a leaf shape for its namesake. 
And next up, we're going to be looking at Goryeo Celadon. Okay, I tried. If I didn't get it right, um, apologies. So this looks like it is a pastel green that shines with icy silver. Oh, shimmer. Goodness. I should have read that first because now I got to shake it. Yeah, we got a little bit of shimmer. Not too much in there though. Hmm. Not too much shimmer in the bottom of the vial. Oh, I do see some sparkle on the page though. And of course, the longer I talk, the more it settles. So, Goryeo and those tiny little paw prints there are um, Colbert. He's trying to come in here and see who I'm talking to. He wasn't aware that we had visitors either. It's like, who's she in there talking to? One thing I appreciate about this um, Kakamori nib is it can write upright for a thinner line and I have not perfected knowing um, the thickness, the angle of my thickness, but each time I use it and get to do this fun stuff, I am getting better at it. See, there are some thin lines for me. I'm getting better at learning my tools, just like my paint brushes. You have to use them and learn what they can do. Um, which is another, I, I wasn't expecting this shipment today. Um, the last, the tracking I received said it got the shipping label on July 6th. Today's the 12th and there weren't any updates. I was trying to track and follow it, but um, there were no up updates on where the package was. So I was really kind of surprised when it actually came in but I also received my um, art monthly subscription box with my new new watercolors in it and I'll be playing in those in a minute I was just trying to debate which one do I open first the ink or the paint so the ink one and then I'll go to the paint I'll probably be working on that when hubby comes in I'm just checking to see if I'm still in frame goodness there we go. So we are on Earl Grey tea. It says your pen is going to want a spot of its own warm. Ooh, that is not only warm, it's very, very bright. I wasn't expecting the brightness of that. That's a bright, bright orange. I'm thinking of um, Ginger Peachy pens in a recent video that she made. Um, she was trying to get the perfect orange um, ink for a pen. And when she sees this, I think she's gonna love it. <laughs> I hope she can see it soon. All right, um, Earl Grey tea. Interesting. Get a little tea bag. So much for doodles. Okay, Earl Grey tea. Yeah, I I am liking the performance of the um, Tamoy River paper uh, much better than the notebook. The cream color. I think it's the cream color. Um, just the color of it, but also I don't know. This has a smoother finish than this. Um, but yeah, I think it's the color that's kind of mixing up with playing with my ink hues, you know, changing the tone a little bit um, from what I put down. Um, my dirty water's getting pretty bright. 
hasn't really been affected until now. All right, we have Horizon. And this looks like a very bright uh, teal. Twinkling Ocean Horizon. This ink presents a light turquoise with hue with a cool sparkle. So, oh, there's very few sparkles down there. I'm glad I read that because I would not have shaken those out of that little cone. So I've got to work those out a little bit. All right, let's get into some ink and experience Horizon. Ooh, that is pretty. So it's kind of odd. We got the, the soft hues in the first four and then all of a sudden we're into, wow, this is bright. You know, wake up your eyes. We have some bright, bright colors coming. I just softened the bright, bright um, orange in my dirty water. All right, so we have Horizon and let's just give it some waves. Can it match its name? I don't know what I'm doing with these doodles, kind of matching the, the name. I usually don't do that. I'm just having a, a day. And last, number seven. Um, I, <laughs> whoo, do you see that purple sparkle laying where this, this uh, vial was laying on the table and it collected there. So I know it's going to be gorgeous. And I can't say this name. It says Les Nymphias Les Nuages. I tried. There you go. <laughs> Les Nymphias Les no, I guess. Um, if you have a, you probably know that language. I don't know. And you can probably speak that language um, and get your words out right. But that's all I've, that's all I've got, y'all. Sorry. So by the way, these inks, I'm thinking of trying to, that sounds like a, a French pronunciation to me. Ooh, here we have another soft um, hue, another soft color um but i forgot to mention that these inks the dominant industry are made in korea south korea so um don't want to put my cap on yet and this is some name not only to try to say but to try to spell <laughs> all right let's get to it This is inspired by Claude Monet's famous painting, Water Lilies. And I wonder if that's what um, these words mean in our, in our English. Oops. E-A-S. In our English. I wonder. So the watery blue ink has clouds of lavender and glistening shimmer. I do like the performance of all the inks better on the Tamoy River paper than what I have in the notebook. And that's just for my ink swatches and my dip pens and my brush and, you know, um, actually putting it in a fountain pen with oh i'm sorry you are so out of frame there we go um actually putting it in a fountain pen you know with a broad nib would you know you'd have a new story going there so anyway that's what we have on ink flight for july 2023 so one more comparison on this paper now that i have the inks down i do want to turn it over and show you that there's really no no bleed through at all um, on this paper and I used a paintbrush to apply the inks liberally and the Kakamori nib of course has some pooling here on are we in frame this E but there's really no bleed through at all on the back of this notebook paper again the map is here in the background and 
Profolio is the brand name. So, and it's a Japanese paper made in Japan. Um, let's look at the back of the Tomoe River paper again. No bleed through, even on the puddles or the heavy ink on the writing. So that performance was um, very even anyway. Again, um, I thank you for spending some of your precious moments with me. You go out and have a blessed day. Bye-bye.